touching me neither. No, it's all right, kid. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's the first time I've ever had my picture in the paper. And I bet it's in all the papers. All over the country, huh? <laughs> yes, it probably is. Well, you earned it, Whitey. If it hadn't been for you. If those other fellas hadn't been so dumb and listened to me, we could have found him sooner. I knew he was mixed up in that storm. Well, it's easy to do in a storm like that. Oh, sure. I wouldn't feel bad about it. It could happen to anybody. How are you, Tommy? Swell. After two weeks of this, I'll sure be glad to get out of here tonight. You were mighty lucky, Tompkins. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was lucky. Maybe it wasn't. Here it is, Tommy. Just came in on the transport. <laughs> Where's for Whitey? For me? Sure, open it up. Oh, boy, a model plane! And an honest-to-goodness gas engine! <laughs> like it? I'll say. Boy, I bet the other kids will be jealous when they see this. <laughs> Fly. You see, fellas, what I've been trying to get through your thick skulls? You gotta get the center of gravity just right. Not too far forward and not too far back. Whitey certainly has taken charge of those boys. Oh, Whitey's all right. He'll settle down in a few days. Yeah, I hope so, for your sake. He was such a swell fellow before the accident. Well, that's why we've got to be patient with him. He's been through enough to turn any kid's head. Pictures in the paper and reporters out here every day. That sort of thing has ruined many a grown man. Why, he's just a kid. So that's the kid brother who's been acquiring all this fame. Yeah, that's what I've been telling you, see? That kid's chest's out of foot with all this hero bunk and his being in soft with Tompkins. Now all we got to do is shuffle our cards right and we deal ourselves right in on that payroll dough. Yes, and if my memory serves me correctly, you had another perfect plan for acquiring this money. Yeah, yeah, I know. Perhaps. You leave the kid to me. I know how to work on him. Okay, fellas. I'll be off for today. Hello, kid. Hi, Mike. Say, did you see the papers? You bet I did. Pictures of you and everything. Say, I was so proud I nearly busted. How you been doing otherwise? Eating, sleeping okay? Yeah, I'll say. I've been staying with Betty Lou. You know, uh, Telspin's girlfriend. Well, smart kid. Come on, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Oh, no, if it's a reporter, I don't want to see him. I'm sick of news hounds bothering me and asking me questions. <laughs> this is no reporter, this is a big shot. Come on. Dawson, this is my kid brother. Oh, how do you do, young man? I've read a great deal about you. Yes, I guess a lot of people heard about me. Yes, indeed, young man. That was a most noteworthy accomplishment. Most noteworthy. And uh, is this the uh, sturdy plane with which you signaled for help? Well, uh, the other one didn't have a motor. Oh, most interesting, young man. Tell me, can you learn very much about the art of flying from these little planes? You bet. You see? Me and Tailspin, we figure that the kids can learn a lot of groundwork. Then when they get old enough to go up, they'll know what it's all about. Very good. Very good. I believe your brother's idea may prove quite profitable. Yeah, I was telling him there's a fortune in making these things. Quite right. Quite right. You see, I'm a manufacturer of uh, toys, and your brother has been trying to persuade me to make quite a number of these planes. Thousands, in fact. Of course, I would call them the Whitey Lewis Scout Ships, and uh, we would pay you for the use of your name. Yeah, but you couldn't sell them, unless the kids that bought them had some kind of a secret club. You know, some sort of signal. If one of you got in a jam, he could use it, see? And the others would know that it was a pal in trouble. You mean a secret code? Like the G-Men or the Army, huh? Possibly, yes, but it would have to be absolutely secret to be used only in case of life or death. Oh, that'll be easy, Mr. Dawson. Me and Tailspin will figure out something. Tailspin? Yeah, Tailspin Tommy, the pilot I rescued. 
Listen, kid. I wouldn't say nothing to nobody about your deal with Mr. Dawson. Big businessmen don't like a lot of people in on what they're doing. Oh, no. I won't say anything about it. I'll just tell Tellspin about the idea for the signal, see? Okay, kid. Just like a sky rider, huh, Tommy? Seems to be working fine. It's a pretty good idea. How'd you come to think of it? I was thinking how close Betty Lou and Skeeter nearly missed seeing my plane. You know, when you crash. It's sure to come to me. <laughs> well, no pilot will ever miss a signal like that. And the scout on the ground will give the three-port call letters. That's the idea. Then the pilot will know it's one of our boys. Yeah. Twin Rivers to Three Point. Twin Rivers to Three Point. Three Point to Twin Rivers. Three Point to Twin Rivers. Go ahead, Twin Rivers. Flight 14 clearing Twin Rivers. U3.357. Advise Tompkins. Okay, Twin Rivers. Brown's payroll is on flight 14. I'm going to tell Tommy. I'll put the smoke signal on the other fellow's planes and teach him the call signal. All right. But remember to warn them it's only to be used for an emergency. A matter of life or death. Sure. I'll put them on their honor. Hey, Tommy. No way. Flight 14 just left Twin Rivers. You better get that flying tank ready. Okay, I'm all set. And you gotta know which way you're flying today, boy. If you get lost with that payroll, they'll have the G-men on you. <laughs> so long, Whitey. So long. Mind if I use the phone? Of course not. Who is she? I'm jealous. It's my brother Mike. He told me to call him up at Pete's place. I didn't know he was back in town. Yeah, he's been back a couple of days. Hello? Peach Pool Pop. Uh, is this Pete? Well, yeah. I'd like to speak to Mike. Yeah, Mike Lewis. But I bet you I could have a girl, see? I got a couple of letters from them pictures in the papers. Hi, Mike? Yeah. Tell a big shot I'm all set to talk business. Okay. I'll meet you there. So long. My, that sounded important. Oh, that's nothing. Just a little business deal I got on. So long. <laughs> Bye. Very interesting young man. And of course you've worked out the emergency signals with the three-point call letters. That's right. But they're only to be used in case of uh, life and death. Quite right, quite right. A very wise provision, eh, Mike? Yeah, I told you the kid was smart. The more I see of this sturdy little plane, the more I'm convinced it'll bring us quite a sum of money. Sure, it's in the bag. That's swell, Mr. Dawson, and uh, you think it'll make me rich, huh? No doubt, no doubt. Rich and famous. Especially famous. Say, this looks like a good spot to test the kid's crate. Perfect. Perfect. And that mountain meadow, that'll provide a nice landing field in case your plane encounters trouble. Sure. That's big enough for a regular plane to make a forced landing. This is it. Well, here we are, young man, at the great crossroads of your life, perhaps. Say, we better get going. Quite right. Williams, I want you to take the car down there and wait for Whitey's plane to come to you. He says he'll drop it right in your lap. Is that right, my boy? That's right. Hold it. I'll go with you. All right. Better stall a few minutes. That transport should be landing at three point about now. Yeah, a nice autograph, Tompkins, for a lot of money. Yeah, too much for my autograph. <laughs> oh. Happy landing. Good luck.
I board a ship fly in a minute at uh, 120 miles an hour. I don't know. Let's see. Uh... Uh, skip it. I guess it's time. All right, give me the blood. Okay, I got it right here. Don't you think them fellas are ready by now? Why, yes. I didn't realize it's been so long. Hey, look! What, what's happened? What yeah. happened to you? What the? What happened to you? The brakes didn't hold. We went off the road into the canyon. I think Mike's hurt bad. Here, help me put him in the shade of this tree. We gotta get a doctor, Mr. Dawson. Do you think he's gonna die? I hope not. Here, let me have a look at you. Oh, don't worry about me. Get help for Mike. I'll go. But it's 30 miles, my boy. That means hours. And your brother may be dying. But, but there's nothing else we can do. It's a plane. It's a plane, maybe from Three Point. Too bad he isn't low enough to see us. He could get your brother to town, perhaps in in time. Wait, wait until he gets closer, and maybe I can tell who it is. It's Tailspin. I'll get him. I'll get him down. Tompkins. Three point to Tompkins. Go ahead, Tommy. Over Long Meadow. Spotted plane with smoke attack. There's a kid signaling for help. Looks like one of our gang's in trouble. Well, Whitey's the only kid with a smoke gag. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to land and check up. Stand by, will you? Okay, but set her down easy. You know, that's not hay you're flying. What are you doing up here? My brother. He's all busted up. Car crack up. It, it went off the road. Well, are you all right? Sure, yeah. I wasn't in it, but Mike. Where is he? Up on the road. He's hurt bad, Tommy. Come on, we got to get him to a doctor. Wait till I check with Skeeter. Tompkins to three point. Tompkins to three point. Okay, Tommy. Go ahead. Hello, Skeeter. Landed okay. There seems to be a... What is this, a holdup? 